Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to d MMA and Boxing. Do me a favor, I got hit with a shadow ban. Not necessarily, we won't call it shadow ban, but it's, it is what it is. I got hit with some copyright infringement, and so my videos are not being shown. Usually I get a couple of videos per day, I get a couple of views per day, and I notice I'm not getting much of anything right now, and it's probably because UFC hit me with a copyright strike, and then Sky Sports hit me with one, and so now my videos are kind of like, you know, things are not happening the way they're supposed to. But... I want to go over this Canelo Alvarez versus uh, Gennady Golovkin. A lot of people think that Canelo is going to have an easy win, but I beg to differ because no one has ever knocked down um, Gennady Golovkin. No one's ever seriously hurt him. He's never been beaten. So I have no reason to believe that he's going to be stopped tonight. In fact, his last opponent fell into that trap and believing that he could stop Gennady Golovkin simply because Gennady get hits a lot, they claim. So what happens is he goes in there, he's swinging, he's giving it his all, and then next thing you know, he just starts going down. He just starts going down, he starts going down, he gets exhausted, and then Gennady Golovkin lock, knocks him out. Usually when people go after Gennady Golovkin, they don't understand that he's putting on tremendous pressure. He keeps his hands up, and either you're gonna, he's going to force you to throw a high volume of punches to keep him off of you. He has tremendous power, he has tremendous shape. But it's not necessarily his power that's hurting people. It's the pressure he's able to put on that person for a longevity, for a long period of time. So if Canelo Alvarez used the same tactic as he did before, he could be falling into a trap of trying to go in there and knock him out. I believe Canelo is the better, faster, more athletic opponent. So he should use his gifts as a younger man. But going in there and trying to bully Gennady Golovkin for 12 rounds could be playing into his into Gennady's um, hands. However, he has no other option because of the stigma that he has to fight Mexican style. So if he goes in and fight Mexican style, or if he does, he does not go in and fight Mexican style, people will assume that, oh, he's not really, uh, he's scared, and then the people might see the fight differently. So he's in a no-win situation. He has to go in and fight a, kind of, a certain kind of way. He has to take um, punishment in order to go for a knockout instead of using his God-giving talents. And so it's an interesting fight. It's a, a chess game. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't break it down the way I wanted to because of all the copyright strikes. But this is D-Watching Man Boxing. That's my analysis. That's my opinions. Please hit the like button. Help me to break the algorithm by hitting the like button and subscribe. Deuces.